Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the privacy.sexy uh, app. So this could be used to change all kinds of security and privacy settings on your computer. So I will say this is definitely a use at your own risk type of program uh, because it's going to run various scripts depending on what you want it to do. And it has a breakdown for Windows and Mac OS. So there's an app you could actually download and install and you could also do it from their website, the same thing except uh, it works a little differently for the local installation one because it runs it as the uh, local administrator. So it's up to you. So there's different sections here. You clean, you click on each one. Here's a privacy cleanup, you know, clear uh, history. And these little arrows give you a bunch of subcategories here. So there's just tons of stuff you could do. Disable data, OS data collection. Bigger programs, security improvements, privacy over security, UI for privacy, remove bloatware. So obviously, you know, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see that there's lots of stuff you could do here. So for example, so disable Windows Defender. So if we search for Windows, Windows Defender Firewall, we could see that it's on. So if we check this box here, you see there's a little sub subcategory box here too. This is selecting all of them. And you click on the play button which is actually run. You get your administrator prompt there, then it shows you the script as it's running. You can see it automatically got the pop-up here because the firewall's turned off. So some of these uh, scripts take longer than others to run, some are real quick, and this one's pretty lengthy because it's doing a lot of thing because all of these sub boxes were checked. So let's let this finish real quick. Okay, press any key to continue. So that's done. So now if we do a search for Windows Firewall here, you can see that it's off. And if you want to revert it back, just click on this revert button here, then click on play again to run. Okay, so that's done. So search for it again here. Now we can see it's back on. So like I said, that one took some time, you know, because obviously it did all these. You don't have to run everything. You could just pick the selections within the uh, main category that you want to run. So like I said, a lot of stuff. And like I said, definitely use it at your own risk. And when you click on each one, you can kind of see the script there. And I would suggest maybe doing some kind of backup or a system restore before you start playing with it. And then so then you could go through it and decide if you want to try some of these uh, security fixes here. And then you could also click on standard, strict, and all to kind of see everything and that type of thing. All right, so I'll put a link in the description. You could uh, download the app or you could try running it from the website as well and see what it does for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.